Lily, stop. Lily. Stop. Okay, honey. Just calm down. Oh, boy. Oh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Honey, you're not getting out. I know. I know. I know it's frustrating. You gotta chew on your bone. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, you're gonna be fine. Tell the people. You wanna tell the people how mad you are? You're not doing very good anymore, are you? She has separation anxiety. Don't you? That's why we're doing this. This is good training for you. Okay. Okay, I gotta go. So we were just about to leave for work and holy shit, blizzard started. Should be done in 30 minutes though. Freaking weird. So this is literally just about 20 minutes later from that storm. You ready to go to work, Lily? Okay, get to work. Hey, wait, hey, wait. Wait, 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 sit. Hey, you listen to your father. Okay, there you go. Remember what to do? Oh, she's gotten good. She's gotten good. So Lily doesn't really like the camera, but she kind of doesn't know what's going on. So Lily has been getting fat. So basically what happens is, is that Alex and I have very hard work schedules right now as far as, not in the winter time for me, but um, Alex works like an hour and a half away right now, and then I'm usually gone most of the day, so the dogs have been sitting around too much, and Lily here is about two and a half, she's gotten fat, so I'm trying to get her out this year. Maggie, the other dog we have, does really well with like not eating too much, or like, I don't know, not being lazy, but Lily here is pretty freaking lazy. And just, she's a total people dog and doesn't ever want to be around other dogs, just to be around people. She's great around both, but, uh, so I got to get her to lose some weight. So I'm trying to take her out and just have her be active all day. So she may be with us a lot in the summer. I don't know if she'll be with us when we have other people, but, uh, that's another thing we're doing right now is we're really trying to hire somebody. If you are in this area of like Colorado around the front range and you're a window cleaner, you're working for something, maybe you're not happy, or maybe you just want to change, contact me. But uh, today, not doing anything too crazy. Some of the usual jobs, and uh, talk a little bit about window cleaning and stuff. A dog's favorite spot, out the window, huh, Lily? Yeah, she gets scared of the camera. <laughs> I mean, literally, like, Literally 30 minutes ago, it was a blizzard here. And now it's all done. It's freaking awesome. I've, uh, well, things I've been using lately that I really, really, truly, truly enjoy, and I didn't like another version of it. What is that? Okay, so these are the zero towels, right? These like waffle weave microfibers. Now they also have this size. And I love this size. This size to me was just always a little bit too big. It's okay for residential, but for commercial it's a little bit too big. But um, this is just perfect. When you pull it out, you pull it out of your pocket, you don't even need to like, you know, grab it with the other hand and do this. It's just small enough, you can group it. And it just absorbs water super, super fast if you get to detail it. Uh, really, really enjoy these. It's a little small. 
when you put it on top of a pole, it's like detailed street poles. It's a little small. I like the recycled towels better for that. But these for like residential and just detail the water on the frames, man, it's freaking great. It's really, really great. Recycled surgical towels. These are just awesome for, for root work. Make life so, so easy. So this door is a brewery door. These brewery doors you cannot fan on. If they get that hop stuff on it, it is horribly hard to fan on and you get turn marks and marks every time you stop. So I straight pull them or use a lot of soap. So just if you're doing that kind of doors that go into a brewery, know that they can be very sticky, kind of like grease. Right here, it's not horrible because I'm adding a lot of soap. But if you don't have a lot of soap, it's very hard to turn on these. It just wants to, oh, it just drags. And we clean these every two weeks. And they just get this layer of like, hop condensation and it really acts like grease. I used to clean New Belgium and it was horrible there too. And I used to do about 20 garage doors every time. And it was the same thing every week. I was on work that fish. It was a fun route to clean because it was their tour route, but man, everything was dirty. I am ready for I am ready for spring I don't know about you guys but like every year right around now March is just six days away you know that things are gonna start getting crazy I look forward to it by like midway July pretty exhausted already but man I can't wait you know I was watching I put out a video my last video is called like storefront advice um, and the reason I put that out was because I do get a lot of questions about it but the other thing about it is I was watching a another video this time of year I start watching some of the window clean YouTube videos I don't watch them really at all other than uh, around now but I was watching one between Josh, Jersey Josh. I forget his name. I think his name is Mike Draper or something. 
from America Window Cleaning Magazine. And they had a video out about basically talking about, and I'll link it right here. I'll put it in the info thing. You can watch it. It's a really, really good one. And they touch on the topic of being extremely careful of like what you're listening to here on YouTube and the level of content that is being put out is just insane. Um, I think in the last like few days just on YouTube alone, I don't know how many window cleaning videos I saw. You know, some aren't harmful at all as far as like, heck, you know, like sometimes poles and blades or Tradman or window cleanse, you know, we don't, um, there's other guys out there create these videos of them just cleaning windows. There's nothing harmful in that. Um, which is a good thing, but what can be harmful are these videos of like top five marketing things, things you should do to make $500 in a day, blee, 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 blah, all these things of basically clickbait titles. Um, if I ever, ever share anything with you on this channel, it is, I back it like 100%. I promise you, I will never share anything with you to get clickbait or anything. Like when I made a video called crap window cleaning tools, I... 100% thought all those video, all those tools were crap window cleaning tools. But I have just seen, I'm not gonna say the name of anybody because that's not respectful, but I had just seen some YouTubers, some influencers put out constant like, you know, ways to market your business. And it's just kind of like, you, you listen to it and you think, okay, so like what backs this, right? Like what, what do they, you know, what do they possess that makes them so good at this? And we never really get told, you know, like I think some great guys to really watch. And this is what I've been doing a lot more lately is like Brandon Vaughn, Joshua Latimer, um, these guys who don't talk about the tools at all and talk about the actual business part. Those are the people that um, are really, really going to help your business grow. I will do everything in my power to help your business grow with my knowledge, but I will never share anything with you that I don't feel comfortable with or that I don't feel like I can present in a knowledgeable way. Um, but I just want to put that out there because I just want you guys to think about being extremely careful about you know what you take in, and you know I think the biggest thing that I see is someone will put out a single video, their first video ever, and it may just be them clean windows. This person may just be a very, very simple employee. And people right away is like, oh, how'd you get that job? How do you price that job? That guy might know nothing about it. So just think about that. And I know it's hard when you're a newbie to watch these videos and you think, okay, well, they know all about what's going on, blah, 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 you know? And like, just ask more questions. Um, I myself, in this next year, two years, I'm really gonna push myself on the business part. So I will be talking a whole lot more about the business part as we grow. Um, kind of just have a different spectrum, a different mindset on all of it. And I've realized the tool videos are fun, but the interaction that I get from you guys when we talk about you know, uh, storefront window cleaning as far as pricing and stuff, uh, bidding, quotes, um, all that good stuff is, so much more interactive now than the tools. It's fun to present new tools, but to talk about old tools and stuff gets a little bit, um, you know, just gets monotonous and gets kind of boring. So I'm really gonna touch a lot more on that. You know, I talked about like a few months ago, like I don't know where this channel is going. This is gonna go forever. I, I seriously think so because I'm still young, man. I'm only 32 years old and I don't see this stopping. And what I think will be really cool is like, you guys have seen my journey from being like an employee to now an owner. And now what I want to do is really show how to take that ownership to the next level and how to really grow beyond what you ever thought. Beyond what I think right now is where I want to go. And I know it's going to happen, but it's going to take time. So we're really going to go through all that on this channel. So, okay. Is it time to go clean a and Is it time to go clean a and Is it time? Oh. If you guys stick around to the end of this video, there is a giveaway for three people. Not of my choice or Lily's choice, but well, of my choice. Hey, are you bad girl? Are you bad? Are you pretty good?
So, $400 invoice for that restaurant it took about 45 minutes. No. That would be way too much. So you saw me there, let's see, at the restaurant, use one of the new Unger poles. So if you didn't see my video, I'll put a little link to it. Um, but Unger changed out their extension poles as far as their collars and their handles. This is not a perfected version of it, but there's that. And then it changes collars. Pretty cool. A lot more grip. This is a lot nicer than the grip. But I tell you, you know, the difference between a carbon fiber pole and aluminum aluminum pole is man, it's so much different. I was using the 12 foot, which the camera is attached to right now, of the aluminum pole the other day, and I was doing most of the stuff that I usually always do with um, you know fanning on a pole and stuff and man i i messed up a couple times and i hadn't messed up in a long time doing that stuff and i realized it was because you just this gives you so much control to the whole pole because it's not moving at all that the little flex that aluminum does especially if you're fully extended kind of messes it up for you so if you're like if you're like an owner operator I would highly suggest well if you're yeah owner operator and you're really going to take care of your stuff if you're an employee you really like the tools i would suggest getting a carbon fiber trad pole it's not just for the sales part about it like it's just life-changing um the other one that i had i gave to alfredo but we now have had these for over a year and man they're just the best they are just so freaking nice i can't say more about them as far as how great they are with these tips and everything and this is not even a sale pitch it's like dude if you really want to get them Freaking nice. Yeah, take your time. Well, I, I, got, I got to take a picture of the van and just call it. 
Uh, I can do that actually. If that's the number, sure? yeah, oh, yeah, that's yeah, no that's, big deal. That's yeah. all the info right yeah. there. Yeah. yeah, residential. Residential. Probably too, yeah. 28, 30 windows. Great. Yeah, yeah. we're um, we're up uh, Highway One. Okay. Just the north end of Fort Collins. Yeah. So usually with houses, our typical prices are five dollars per pane in okay. and out, and take out all the screens, polish the screens. Okay. And stuff. So cool. Yeah. All right. Cool. I'll give you a call. Yeah. Right. Thanks, sir. Okay. Yep. You hungry, girl? You hungry? You want pepperoni? Lil, you want pepperoni? Hey, hey, you want pepperoni? Oh, yum, 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 yum. Too hot. All right, so the giveaway, I got a few brand new WCR extra large shirts, uh, only in the US only. Just the first three people to comment. Um, shirts like right here in a picture. Uh, so first three people to comment that want that shirt in your XL, you're in the US, I will send that shirt to you. I don't wanna go through the whole giveaway thing online um, for a shirt giveaway. So that's the giveaway. That's the end of the video. Lily did very good on her first day of work. Yes, yes you did. Yes, you did. You got the hair, car very hairy, but you did very good. You even possibly got a job for us because you were cute. Isn't that great? Okay, everybody. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.